face some tough challenges ahead for uh, policing, but in my mindset we are of course of thinking wider than policing because much of our work is done in a, in, a, in a way with partners, but the policing contribution and the numbers of police officers are an issue that of course is top of my mind and people's feeling of safety and, and trying to reduce the fear of crime and of course crime generally. We live in a, a very much a relatively safe place as regards uh, England and Wales and we should be very proud of that and proud of what the police force are doing for us. But we've got to keep it that way and in many areas in terms of violence or shoplifting or public order, these crime statistics are actually rising in Devon and Cornwall so it needs uh, all the way to the police force to keep on top of that and us in my team to uh, to look at the performance issues there. Now it makes perfect sense to bring the public into the policing family. In so many ways they're already there but we do feel, uh, I do find cultural change needs to happen in our policing community. We need to make it easy for the public to contribute. The public are asking me uh, to make it easy for them to volunteer with policing, uh, to make it easy to come and go, to change the environment so it is one that is attractive to the public. We already have around 450 volunteers working with the police. The majority of those, two thirds, are with Speedwatch alone. Now we have a tree of volunteering. I mean by that a, a large wall-sized diagram with all the opportunities and the opportunities are innumerable. What I want to do is work with the police to change the culture, to open the doors, to recognize the public are ready to help, to augment the policing effort in Devon and Cornwall. It makes perfect sense and I'm absolutely pledged to do that. Of course, you meet the public all the time. You're meeting many of them here today. What feedback do you get generally when you meet um, the, the public about their willingness to get involved in policing their own counties? The public are approaching me all the time in my constant uh, engagement with the public across Devon and Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly, saying, uh, recognising the challenges of policing, supporting and sometimes questioning what the police do but asking for uh, ways uh, for them to uh, be able to help themselves that might be neighborhood watch car watch boat watch um, and of course here in the county show it's so important to place emphasis on the rural areas and we have uh, ideas that specials can help uh, uh, in the um, in the moorlands as park wardens, double double hatted, but in the remote villages and such like where they're suffering rural crime, uh, thefts, thefts of metal, rustling, and the presence of special constables uh, as a volunteering effort can of course help enormously uh, with that. But we also are going to have volunteers and, and, and special constables. In, uh, in our universities and in the technical areas of, of fighting the crime on the internet, the cybercrime area. And you've pledged, of course, to increase quite considerably the number of special constables within Devon and Cornwall and the hours also that they commit. Yes, we, I started uh, 18 months ago saying I wanted to see more special constables uh, because it's, it's, it's not as if I or the police take specials for granted, certainly not, but they have pull powers, uh, they are part of the policing family and they are effectively volunteering. I pledge to raise the numbers from around 600 to 800 um, and what, when we looked at this we, we realised that some specials are able to give more time than others. So what we've done, I hope intelligently, is to change the numbers of specials to the amount of hours that they give. We're really fortunate we have a really diverse role within the Devon and Cornwall Constabulary. Uh, many of us work with response and neighbourhood officers uh, and to provide support for them when they require it. What made you want to do it? Because of course this is a volunteering role, you don't get paid for this. So what was the motivation for you to do this? Well, uh, I'm a local person, I've been from the area for my whole life. It's just really an opportunity to give back to a 
to the safe community I've had I've been fortunate enough to grow up in uh, it was really to provide that for other people what sort of things do you do on a day-to-day -day basis with the specials what what things do you get involved in well uh, we're really fortunate in that the uh, the, the regular constabulary is, is a very friendly family for for the specials to join uh, I predominantly work with them or single crew by myself uh, responding to 999 calls or or dealing with neighbourhood related incidents uh, as they develop during the day. And I presume you get a lot out of this. It's, uh, you don't get a payment for this, but you must get a lot from it yourself uh, to make you want to do it. Absolutely. There's, um, there's a real amount of continuing professional development that we have the opportunity to take part in. Uh, I feel that I've, I've grown and matured as an individual thanks to the opportunities I've been provided by the Special Constabulary. And what would your message be to anyone watching this now uh, who might be considering or maybe not even thought about it so far, joining the specials? I, I would check the website every day. As, as soon as it becomes available, I'd be clicking on the link and, and joining up as soon as I could.